What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in to this new video on Elvis's demand. Fan footage spotlight. This footage is of the not suit. I didn't even know it existed. I saw pictures and it looked like screenshots of this very, very rare suit. It's called the not suit. Now, Elvis was wearing the fringe suits a lot in the early 70s, especially 1970, 1971. He was fond of the fringe suits because it really emphasized his movements on stage. Elvis started wearing the fringe suit in August 1970 for That's the Way It Is. He went all out in November of 1970 with the long fringe suit that he wore at the LA Forum. He ran into some problems with the long fringe because... It would get tangled up in his mic. It even messed up the closing at the LA Forum where Charlie had to come out, cut off the strings, and he had to redo the closing. Do you hear how the fans are screaming, yeah, after he spun around or did whatever he did? He had them in the palm of his hands. Here's the footage. I believe it's probably from late January, early February 1971. Like I said, he's wearing the knot suit. He was into the fringe. I would always call this the short fringe suit because I didn't know the name of it. I barely even saw any pictures. But when I saw this footage, I was like, whoa. <laughs> So that footage there, like I said in the previous video of Elvis in February 1977, this fan footage, which I highlight in fan footage spotlight and give context to this footage that's been coming out and being released, it really pieces the puzzle together of Elvis's life. Because we only have the official performances in the official film like Aloha, NBC special, CBS special, but we don't have this stuff in between. Like, for example, this same month that the footage here was taken of him singing Impossible Dream, he won the JCs. He did his presentation where he was sweating. He was so nervous. He actually met George Bush at that uh, award ceremony. Um, it's just, like, you can tell, like, the charisma. It's like you don't even know how good Elvis is because you couldn't see us fans can't see that much of the footage. Like I say, this fan footage is so precious that we can all see it. And people ask me like, so why do you like Elvis so much? And you really can't put it into words, but when I watch this footage, it's sort of like, you just have to watch him. It's the charisma that comes forth. It's, you know, for example, this song, Impossible Dream, if you just hear it on record, I'm so, I was sort of like, eh. You know, Elvis uh, replaced Can't Have Falling In Love with Impossible Dream in 1971. I don't, like, this is the example of him closing out the show. It's cool, but I don't think it's like Can't Have Falling In Love. But in Madison Square Garden, 
1972 and other spots, he would place this song like maybe in the middle or towards the end of his set list. And that, the Madison Square Garden performance, is probably one of his best. This is great as well. Basically, when you see Elvis perform, like that guy that uh, the commentator, if you guys, some of you guys remember, comment down in the comments if you do. Remember when that guy for the first edition of That's The Way It Is that came out in 1970? He said, really, when you've heard Elvis on record, you've heard nothing. You have to see Elvis. And that's true with this footage here. You never would have known how charismatic Elvis was just in different ways, the passion that he puts in this performance really is what sets him apart. It's like the charisma is how he feels it. And I'm so glad we have this footage. Talk to me in the comments.